everybody. I'm Ingrid. And I'm Michelle. And we are still with Dino Rock Productions. And today's puppet is going to be a stegosaurus. The word stegosaurus actually means roofed lizard because the plates look like little roofs. Like this. Oh, and, and, and this. Uh, turn it around the other way. Yeah, show them that way. Yeah, like that. Okay. Our video is about a baby stegosaurus who follows her mom and her dad for protection. But what we're, you could make the big one or the little one. The uh, PDF has patterns for both. But right now, we're going to make Doris, the little stegosaurus. Because she's the star of our video. That's right. That's right. Now, let me show you the things you're going to need. You're going to need one paper plate per puppet. You're going to need some kind of a dowel or a pencil or a chopstick, some kind of a stick that holds up the puppet. You're going to need a scissors, of course, and pencils, markers. markers. This can be very helpful for children. They can put a lot of this puppet together with a stapler if they want to. Mostly, though, you, I like Elmer's glue. And as I say in every video, don't buy school Elmer's glue. Its only purpose is to make sure that your children's clothing is not hurt at all. It doesn't actually glue anything together. So put your children in clothes that can get glue on them and buy real Elmer's glue. It's a and real if, deal. <laughs> real deal. And if you're going to use Elmer's, it's nice to have clips because Elmer's takes a long time to dry so if you have clothes pins or paper clips or something that will hold things together while the glue dries that's a good idea but oh and the one thing that we should have mentioned what well the little plate is for the baby oh right yeah and mama There's a bigger one has uh is it is a bigger plate but I'm all out of those right now okay so Michelle is going to put together her puppet with a glue gun and something that a tip which helps people with glue guns, is an old metal spoon. The glue will come off of the spoon if it gets on, but it keeps your fingers from getting burned. So instead of pushing things with your finger, push them with a the spoon. Put the spoon behind things you're gluing on. Don't put your hand behind it. So right. that's a nice, helpful tip. Okay. Now, to start with, this puppet has two halves of plates. So there's one half. And there's the other half of a plate. So the first thing you do is fold your plate in half. Right. Fold my plate in half. And then I'm assuming I'm going to cut it right down That's the middle. That's right. Right down the fold. Okay. Just cut that plate right in half. Okay. I got it. Okie dokie. Okay. Now, you're going to take the inside of the plate and you're going to put a line of glue right down there and stick a stick on it. Right, right down the middle. And here is my trusty glue gun. I think this is the middle. It, it, it doesn't have to be precise. Well, close is good enough. And then you just stick the dowel right on it. There. Just push that right on. Yeah. Now, to glue the other half on, you're going to want to line it up when it goes to gluing. But don't put glue all the way up the stick. Just put it down here so you don't flatten your puppet out. Oh, okay. So Just right, right there. down there, yeah. Okay. Okay, the last time I tried this, I flattened the puppet I out. I know, and I forgot to, I gave you the wrong instructions. Because, okay. So, so then you line it up. Okay. There. Okay. See, so now it's glued on both sides, and it's a little squidgy, which doesn't make a bit of difference. You okay, can trim it if you if it gets to be a problem. No, no, no. I mean the stick is a little. No, nah, that's just center. fine. Okay. Now, you're going to glue the edge of the plate together all the way around. If you're doing this with Elmer's, you put some Elmer's on, and then you stick a paperclip or a clothespin. Right. Or you can staple it all the way around. Right. I've done that with children, too. Okay. So, 
Now, Michelle's going to do just a little bit at a time. I am? Yes. Don't, okay. don't try to glue the whole thing. About don't three, try four to glue inches the at whole a time. thing. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I should use the, paper, this, the stapler. No. No, don't use the stapler. Okay. Now, in your PDF, you're going to get patterns for the tail. And it says right on the pattern, cut two. You're going to get patterns for the head. Right on the paper, it says cut two. You're going to get two front legs and two back legs. Some of this I have left to your artistic whims. <laughs> I did not make patterns for all the bumps and spikes on either of these characters because that's up to you. And another thing that's up to you is you can color this in with crayon or marker if you want before you do all of this gluing. How are we doing? Pretty good. Okay. Wh whimsy is, is a good word for making puppets. <laughs> now, the head goes on okay. to sandwich the body at the neck. Okay. And in order to do that so it lines that up, first thing you want to do is put a little glue along there and stick it on one side. Okay. Okay? Got it. Stick it on one side. Doesn't matter which side. Just well, does it matter how the It does the matter which way the head faces. Oh, the, oh this is the head. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you want You're the right. head to face yeah. like that. Okay. You don't have to use nearly that much glue, Michelle. I know. I'm, I'm a glue hound. Okay. Okay. Now, you have the head on one side but not the other. Right. So you want to put some glue here on the head and line it all up. Right. You just want to do the head, and then what you're going to do is lift that up and put some more glue. Oh, but If you try to okay. do too much at the same time, you will get burned. <laughs> okay. And I don't want anybody burned. Yeah, all right. So here Those we go. Those are the two things that cause people to burn. Too much glue at a time, and you just did exactly what I told you not to do. Hook ahead, stick it on. Too much glue? Too much glue and over too much of an area. Sorry. See, that Ingrid chose me to do this so you can see how, <laughs> <laughs> if you do it the wrong way. Right. Right. Yeah, okay. But she didn't get burned, so it wasn't no, so I wrong didn't, after I didn't get all. Burned. But now you need to get glue under just that part. Okay, just that so part. So that the head... Piece, two pieces sandwich the body. They sand, squish together on the body. There we go. All right. Here is the tail. The tail goes up. It doesn't go down. Make it go up. That's we better. know the dinosaurs did not drag their tails because no. when we find their footprints... We don't find any tail prints and a tail that big and heavy. You'd see it drag if it dragged in the mud. Right. I'm sorry I had to even it out well, a you, little. That's perfectly all right. Okay. Same thing. You're going to glue a little bit of it onto one half of the body. Right. Put the glue along there. Okay. Don't use too much glue. Don't use too <laughs> much glue. Okay. All right. Just want to keep everybody safe. Or, again, you could use Elmer's. I, I but actually it would take love forever. Elmer's. We'd be here yeah. till tomorrow. We can't do that with a video. So. No. so she's using her spoon. Yes. Okay, I got it. All right. Same thing. You want oh. this on the other side. Right. But, but what did so, I do? You didn't know. I just don't want you to do oh, so much oh, okay. this time. All right. Just put a little down here. Okay. And then after that's set up, then you lift this up to okay. do the rest. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. I just light it up and put it right there. Yeah. Right. And don't get too close to the glue gun. Right. Okay. Okay, now, I can do the rest. Now you lift it up. Yeah. Now, the legs, it's marked on your PDF. This is the back leg. It's the bigger leg. 
and this is the front leg. And because I'm using used scraps, this has got some schmutz on it. It won't matter. We'll glue that on. What, what schmutz? Oh, okay. doesn't matter. No. It doesn't. Okay. All right. Believe it or not, we are almost finished. Now the back leg gets glued right there. Right there. So it's up around, what would you call that? Well, that's the thigh, and that's part of the body. It's no, the, I know. But so what that's you, why it's on the body. Yes, but like that. Uh-huh. It's, it's, uh, it's up, pretty far up uh, the plate. Yeah. It's, it's not down there. It's up here. Okay. Now, okay. go back to the side you were doing, working on. Oh. And you put the front leg. Don't do that. Oh, this oh, is the front oh. leg. Oh, the front leg. Yeah. Right. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> She's trying to make the back leg longer. No, I don't want to do that. No. Their, their legs hit the ground at pretty much the same Yeah, that's perfect. Place. That's yeah. perfect. Same height. Uh -huh. Their legs were about the same. Okay. Now, turn it over, and you know what to do. Yes, I know what to do. Don't line up the legs. It's more interesting if they're a little off. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. If you line them up, you can't tell you got four legs. Oh, okay. That's Just an interesting a little idea. Bit interesting. Yeah. Uh, Don't, that's fine. That'll be the forward leg. Yeah. Okay. And one more leg. Uh, <laughs> this way. Right? Yeah. And if mm -hmm. that one's back, then this should be back, sure. too. Sure. Okay. I don't know. It just doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This is your choice, your artistic woman. And you can make these any color. Some scientists think that the, the plates on the back of the stegosaurus were red. Really? Yes. I don't remember seeing yeah. that ever, anywhere. I have. Okay. No, so there you go. Look at that. All it needs is decorating. And so we're walking. While and we're at we're it, walking. why don't you draw on some eyes and a oh, mouth? Yes. And it remember, you can't see both sides at the same time. So if they're not exactly the same, it doesn't matter. There's you the can, nose. You can cut out circles. You can use wiggle eyes. You can do anything you want. But you always want to give it a smile. Yeah, it, smiles are nice. We like oh, happy nice. dinosaurs at Dino Rock. Yes, we so. have some very happy dinosaurs. And then and the nose. Don't forget the nose. The nose. The nose is right yeah. there. So you can draw. You can actually make that the grown-up if you wanted and draw big plates or little baby plates. Oh, that's so cute. Anything you want. And that is the puppet for today. Oh, we're done? We're done. Oh, okay. Because they have to add the stuff themselves. Oh, right. Can, can we do I'm Just Following Mom? <laughs> sure. Okay. Turn around. I'm just following Mom. Keep up, dear. Yes, I'm just following Mom. Bye-bye, Mom. Have fun with your puppets. <laughs>